Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel Mo Digging. Good to see you once again. This week my dad and I are going to go detecting at a couple of locations that are not too far away. One of which is a really popular fishing location so I'm going to be digging a lot of low tones looking for gold and having fun. Let's get straight to it. Just had myself a pretty odd find right here. I decided to investigate a big iron signal, popped a little bit of soil, and I've got a lock, an entire lock. So, pretty neat. Uh, I, I do like digging those big iron signals because sometimes you find pocket knives and interesting things that you wouldn't expect. So we'll put that away. Just had myself a really deep coin signal and popped that out of the ground and Thankfully, my father knew what it was because I found one probably two months ago. That is the knob off of an old window crank for a vehicle. You can actually turn it like this to put the windows up and down. So my first vehicle actually had a window crank. It's not a great find, but uh, still pretty interesting. I am still digging the big irony steel targets, and I got myself a spoon here a little while ago. And then I just pop this out of the ground. Looks like I got a pocket knife. That's not bad. It looks like it's gonna be in decent shape. So we'll clean that one up and I might have a new pocket knife. All right, you guys, I've been down here for about two hours now digging trash. And I just got a 70 signal, pop my plug. And at about an inch and a half down, I've got a ring and it looks pretty good. Please God, let this be a real ring and not a fake. Let's take a look. I have left it in situ right here. Right there is the ring in question, and that looks pretty good. It rang upright to be potentially gold. Please let this be a real ring with some diamonds in it. Oh my god. And it's got a green stone. Is this a real ring? Oh god, please let it be. It's got some weight to it. If it's a real ring, it's going to be pretty nice. Oh my god. That looks and feels pretty good, but I'm going to have to cut back in here in just a second. Because I'm not sure... Please, God, let that be real. Don't let that be a fake. Well, everybody, that is the fun of metal detecting, is to uh, dig things like this up and hope to God that they're real. But you know what? That is a, a costume ring. I can see the uh, the uh, base metal leaking through the plating. So that's not going to be, be a real ring, unfortunately. Plus, there's no markings in it. But, uh, God, that looks so good coming out of the ground. Somebody was wearing that, and... It looked nice on their hand, but uh, not a real one, unfortunately. We'll get them on the next one. Well, sorry about the wind, folks, but I may have some silver here. I don't know. It was ringing up in the 70s, and it looks like I got a little locket. Yeah, I don't know. Could just be kind of a little costumey locket. Obviously not the nicest one around, but uh, it rang up kind of correctly. Let's see if I can get it open with one hand. Oh, I already broke it. These things are usually pretty fragile. Looks like there was a picture in there one time. Don't know what that was, but uh, eh, it's probably a cheapie. Little locket. Here's an odd little find. Like I said, I am digging the iron signals, and I just got a little bell. My dad, thankfully, is out here with me and commented as to what it probably is. It's probably for fishing. I found just a mountain of fishing sinkers, so this is probably something related to fishing, so not a bad little find. All right, this was just a uh, really jumpy coin signal. I popped a little bit of soil here and pulled out a coin that's about the size of a penny and looked at it a little bit and realized I think I got some foreign, if I'm not mistaken. I believe that's a euro coin. Yeah, two euro cents. So if you give me a second, I'll clean it up and we'll take a closer look. A little bit of water and scrubbing, and that coin cleaned up pretty well, actually. It's a 2017 two euro cent coin. These are actually pretty neat. I've found them before. What's uh, kind of interesting about these coins, too, is they're actually um, copper plated steel. So if you look on this side, you can actually see where the steel is leak leaking through after having been out in the, in the uh, elements and the rain and all that. So kind of a different coin and uh, not something I find in Missouri every week. 
Well, I have not been finding too many of these. I just got an upper 70 signal and popped out a coin. And you know what? It is actually a token. Looks to be a little arcade token of some kind. Family Amusement Center. Tilt. I'm sorry for the loud noise in the background, but uh, yeah, no cash value. I'll take a token. I do like finding that kind of stuff. Well, I just popped something out of the ground that's kind of cool and I haven't found in a while. So let's take a look together. This item was a few inches down and it was ringing up at about a 70 on my machine on the Fisher Gold Bug Pro. It is a little Girl Scout pen, I believe. They did make a Boy Scout pen just like this, but that is definitely a Girl Scout pen. Probably pre-1970, I would say. It might be from like the 40s or 50s, but uh, that's a cool find. I have found these in the past, and uh, like I said, it's been quite a while since I found one, so I will very happily take that. The uh, pin is actually missing from the reverse, so pretty cool find. Well, I had to move to an area with a little bit more light and less noise. You can hear all the noise in the background, but I did just get my first wheat penny for the week. I believe it's a 1919S for San Francisco Mint. Not bad. That coin's 102 years old, so we will take it and keep on detecting. We might still get some silver this week. Look what I got. I just got myself a toy car. It was a really loud quarter signal at about an inch down. That's going to clean up okay, I think. So I might be able to give that one away. We'll take it. Got us a toy car. Well, sitting at about uh, four inches down, I just got another wheat penny. And sure enough, it's a 1910. It's actually the second year production for the wheat penny. Um, I was having trouble seeing the date. My dad cleaned it up a little bit. And wouldn't you know it, it's a pretty old one. This coin is, what, 111 years old? That's pretty cool. Um, where I'm detecting, you don't find stuff quite this old very often. So we'll take that. Penny two, we might find some silver. Let's keep detecting. Wow, this thing was way down there. It had to have been at least seven or eight inches down, but I just got myself a nickel, and you know what it is? That's a buffalo nickel. Yeah, there's the buffalo. Not bad looking. And this is gonna be the obverse of the coin with a Native American on there. Yeah, it's pretty cool. In fact, I think it, there's a date on there that I can actually read. Um, I may chime back in here in a moment with some more light and also tell you guys just a little bit about this Neat coin that uh, thankfully shows a little bit of uh, the history of America on it. Minted between the years 1913 and 1938, the Buffalo Nickel was designed by American sculptor James Frazier. The coin is composed of 75% copper and 25% nickel and was created to replace the earlier Liberty Head Nickel. The obverse of the coin is dominated by a striking profile of a Native American. Conflicting accounts from the designer regard the true identity of the model used on the coin, but it was claimed that the portrait is an amalgamation of Lakota Chief Iron Tail, Cheyenne Chief Two Moons, and Kiowa Chief Big Tree. Also on the obverse is the date and the word Liberty. Because the coin has a high relief design, the date and other raised points were subjected to significant wear while in circulation, and thus were easily worn from these pieces. The reverse side of the coin depicts a left-facing buffalo standing atop a natural landscape. According to Fraser, the animal that appears on the reverse is Black Diamond, which was an American bison that resided at the Central Park Zoo in New York. Above the buffalo's image are the inscriptions United States of America and E Pluribus Unum. At the bottom is the denomination five cents and the coin's mint mark. Although the buffalo nickel that I dug has been corroded by decades of exposure to the elements, it is still a beautiful coin rich with American history. Only by digging low-tone targets was I able to unearth this lovely piece, and I am privileged to add it to my collection. It's in rather bad shape, but uh, just got a big loud jumpy signal and I got myself a pocket knife. That was actually pretty old, it looks like. Not in great shape, but uh, still a I need to find nonetheless. I find a pocket knife just about every week now. 
Well, thank God, I finally found the one thing I really, really wanted to find this week, which was any piece of silver. And you know what? I just popped a uh, little plug here, and I've got a little silver coin that looks like a dime. So let's find out what we have. It's getting kind of dark, but uh, right here I've got myself a little silver coin. And I think it might be a mercury dime. Oh yeah, that's looking pretty good. That looks to be the uh, Phrygian cap right there to a mercury dime. I've got a little bit of water still, so let's see. Let's see if we can't clean it up a little bit. Oh yeah, oh yeah. There's the uh, fasces on the reverse of this coin, so. We got ourselves a little mercury dime. If you give me just a second, I will clean that up. I'm sorry it's getting a little dark, folks, but uh, that's a 1944 mercury dime, a war year. Uh, that's the year that we uh, invaded Europe with D-Day, so that's a pretty cool and historic coin to pull out of the ground. We're gonna put that away and finish up detecting because it's getting dark pretty quickly. Well, after four days of hunting this week, I'm back at the house now and I've cleaned up all my finds. So let's take a few moments to go over everything. I did a lot of metal detecting this week. We managed to fill the board pretty well. We'll come over here just for a moment and look at all the trash because we found a lot of that this week. Lots and lots of bottle caps and pull tabs and uh, can slaw <clears throat> and stuff sitting on the ground. We actually picked up a lot more trash on the ground than what's shown here. So. If you're going to go out and metal detect, take as much trash with you as you can. It protects the hobby. <clears throat> but we'll come over here real quick. We found uh, about eleven and a half dollars in change this week. I got myself some clad quarters, clad dimes, and nickels, and then a big old uh, pile of copper pennies and zinc pennies. So I'll clean all this up, and it'll go towards another old coin to buy. Hopefully next week I'll show you guys something kind of cool. Um, but we'll go around the board just a little bit. <clears throat> we got one toy car. It's in good shape. I'll be able to get that one away. This pocket knife actually cleaned up really well, so that's another item that I'll be able to salvage and use. Uh, I did get that uh, stainless steel spoon. Got a few dog tags. I think I ended up with like five dog tags this week, so lots of those out there. Big pile of washers. There's that uh, stainless steel lock. Some bits and pieces of stuff. There's a little can opener. Pull that out of the ground. <laughs> Here's all my uh, lead weights. Lots and lots of lead weights this week. So it kind of makes sense when you're out metal detecting an area where people are fishing. I even found a nut that somebody used, uh, turned into a fishing sinker, so that's kind of neat. Now, anybody have an idea what kind of fishing sinker that is? I've never found one of those before, but kind of neat. Um, big old pile of pull tabs. I was really, really hunting for gold this week. Didn't happen, <clears throat> but I removed over 100 pull tabs probably. Uh, there's even some zip tabs in there. Those are from the 1960s. Uh, we'll go around a little bit more. <clears throat> Got myself an e-cigarette. I find one of those just about every week now. Lots of cartridges. Uh, I think those are 30 out sixes, and those might be 30-30s. A few uh, fishing lures. I got another e-cigarette there. Banana ice. <laughs> Interesting. Um, let's look around here and get in kind of the middle here. I got myself that little um, carabiner. God, that was a big letdown, that ring right there. It looks so good coming out of the ground, but it's a junker, unfortunately. We'll get a better one next week, hopefully. Um, what else do we have? Uh, this was kind of a letdown, too. I didn't show you guys this, but I popped that out of the ground and thought I had a silver charm, but it's uh, pot metal, unfortunately. Um, what else? What else? What else? we got a few tokens. There's that little locket. <clears throat> I didn't show you guys this either. A little uh, Aladdin's Castle token. Those are like from the 1980s and 90s. Kind of cool. The gaming token. Um, <clears throat> I thought I had myself a piece of allure when I popped this out of the ground. It's actually a little religious pendant. It's got some religious information on there, a uh, verse from the Bible. So I assume that's a cross on that side. Kind of a neat little find there. So always check your items when you get home. I got a button battery, a little brass pipe there. I got that uh, two cent euro, which is kind of cool. Got two wheat pennies, a really old one too. 1910 and a 1919 so it's a good 19 teens sweet pennies uh, this girl scout uh, little pin is really neat i find these occasionally but it's been quite a while since my last one you can see where the pin has broken off there and this little uh, little item got lost so neat find um 
And then my two best finds, I would say, are I got myself a 1934, it's hard to read, but it is a 1934D Buffalo Nickel. A beautiful coin. These are hard to find around here. But I got myself a Buffalo. And I got myself a little piece of silver, a little Mercury Dime from 1944. There's a few dings in there. I didn't do those, but uh, a few little scratches and things like that. But uh, any week you can get silver is pretty good on my on my end. Um, and like I was going to show you guys too, I had to dig a lot of targets just to find one piece of silver. So um, we had a good week. As always, I really appreciate you guys watching my videos. We had a lot of fun this week. Found a few old coins, one piece of silver, and a lot of knickknacky stuff and some trash. So. Had a lot of fun. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy what I'm doing, and I will see you guys next week. Goodbye now.